Yeah. Wow. Ooh. We clean this. There's no ring. Hey Charlotte. What? What are we gonna do today? We're gonna check the sprayer. Yeah, we're gonna fix the sprayer. We've gotta fix the pump on the sprayer and uh, do a maintenance check on a tractor. So, this is what we're fixing today. What we're getting is we're getting oil, we're getting water. We're getting water into the oil, so that means hopefully one of these is leaking. So what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this all apart, fix it. I've never taken one of these things apart. Um, I watched a YouTube video, so I'm pretty much an expert right now, right? Uh, I don't know about that yet. <laughs> I've got the diagram, so I'm gonna tear it apart and see what I can do and see if we could fix it, because uh, I gotta spray the trees. Right here, the trees behind me. And also, we might not get to spray that much today because you can see that it's really wet out there still. Yeah, still really wet. And we're gonna check out some bees today. So, hey, stay along with us. We're gonna bees. show you the bees. Bees. Yeah, so here's what we're working on today. That's kind of what I was expecting it to be. I was, expect I was expecting it to look like that. But I thought it would just come in, just come out right, really fast. But I know I didn't put the model number, so this is a Comet pump. Um, APS 101. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop, and I'm gonna work. Um, work on this side, I'm gonna take this off. All right, so I broke it all free, and there's just water. There's just clear water pouring out of it. I don't know if this is normal, but this is what's happening. But it's not drinking water. Oh, I see that's the washer. All right. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. I think it needs to be cleaned out. Yeah. So, dang. It look like it's cracked too bad, but there's a lot of like corrosion built up. So we'll go ahead and uh, clean this all up, blow it out, and then replace this, and then check the, we need to check the piston. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this, and then um, and then and just put it back. Oh, oh, that's not that wasn't too tight. What? There we go. All right, pop the seal. Looks like it's, doesn't look like there's any scoring on the piston. Why is that good? 
Yeah, I'm just go ahead and uh, clean up this surface and then put the new one in. Clean all this up. There's a little bit of rust, but just looks like it's worn. So here's a new one. It's Comet. Here they look basically the same. 800012, same thing. So I'll go ahead and put this in. We'll clean this up right here and then put this new one in. Torque it down. Uh, go ahead and clean. Here's the, the cap. So we clean this. There's an no O-ring. Second O-ring. There we go. Rinse it all out. And just clean all this out. There we go. I'll just go ahead and put it, reinstall it. Let's not get dirt all over the place. There we go. Okay, so I think I got it. It's on, I'm gonna go ahead and torque it. I think it torques to, here's what it came, I got from a local tractor store and it says those cap bolts, looks like 75 NM Newton meters. Okay, got it, all right. All right. Okay, got it all clicked down. What do you think, Charlotte? Is it looking good? Yeah, yeah, it still looks the same from last time. It's a little bit more cleaner now. Yeah, it's definitely cleaner. I found two missing O-rings, and then the, I guess these are called diaphragms. These diaphragms are just kind of like, they look well used. So hopefully this fixed it. Now I gotta fill it back with up the oil. Charlotte's gonna let some of the water out of the field to open it. So we irrigate. There we go. Got it? Yeah, you like could it. do it. There you go. There we go. It's like a toilet. Kind of. So we're here. So the job of the bees is to all those flowers. Look at. Those are the, all the baby, all the baby almonds are right there. And here's our bees right here. 
We've got this special waterer right here. So we have this special waterer right here. And that has that burlap on there so they can climb out. Look at them. I think they did a good job this year. Made it. made it. These are good. Did you already open them? Are they closed already? Uh, yeah, they're. I know. So, the, before we can uh, before we can do any more spraying with that yellow spray, we got to pull all those trees out. So I'll show you right now what it looks like to pull all those trees out. Okay, we're moving brush out of the field from a big storm. A bunch of trees fell down, so we got to get them out of the field. So it doesn't make it some more don't collapse on the same exact one. Right, we got to get through the rows. And we got to get ready for the bees. Yep. Bee time. And we use the tractor and some saws, and the kids uh, help us kind of move them around. But we got to clear out all the driving rows. Get all these trees out before I could spray the next time. So, but bees, bees are crucial to the to the almond industry. You you have to have bees to pollinate the almonds. And here they are right here. So I'll get a close up of it. And uh, pollination is almost finished. For, hopefully, hopefully all these flowers, hopefully all these flowers will turn into almonds. Looks like we got lots. But hopefully it was a good pollination, so we'll have a good crop, and we'll have lots of almonds to sell to the public that are high quality, that'll taste good and be nutritious. And then we're gonna test the, we're gonna test the sprayer. It's kind of see what it looks like when it's spraying. It's just water, so we don't need to wear any safety stuff and it's been cleaned out. So we don't have to worry about that, but we're gonna spray through this tree right here and we're gonna show how high uh, this water goes up through this big, huge tree right here. 